Hey there, get ready for major table saw improvements. So, first one, this hand wheel here on this uh, general 10 inch saw was really close to this box. It was actually mounted all the way over here where my finger is. And you can see there's a piece of 3 8 by 5 8 aluminum, made some spacers, drilled and tapped for the box, and just through bolted back in the original holes here because every time I move this hand wheel, it was so close to the box. Next, really simple improvement, took off this electrical uh, clamp here and put on a compression fitting, which keeps the box sealed up a lot better. Next improvement was one I was thinking about for a long time, and I still want to get a mushroom head stop switch for here. But the thing with this old tele mechanique you know, the company's changed, it's been bought up in maybe Square D or all these companies have been consolidating. So I haven't just found that piece to go on the original switches because I don't want to have two different kinds of switches in the same box. So just added this simple limit switch here at the bottom. And now, instead of having to move hands down to the box, I can keep my hands up top holding on to the workpiece and the scrap so the blade stops and simply check this out. So the whole idea is to be able to bump this with a little bit of foot pressure. This pedal is really crude. It was just to get a really quick and dirty first prototype. And the only reason to not do a finished version is that this table saw is still on some dunnage, some kind of like a little pallet, because we're always moving it around with the pump cart, pallet jack, whatever you want to call it. And it's super handy being mobile, but there's no dust collection hooked up, which when it gets in a permanent position with an outfeed table, the dust collection will be on there. And it needs to be on a floor or on a surface and have that dust collection stuff hooked up. And then at that time, make a proper, more permanent pedal. And who knows, maybe someone will comment below on some better idea for that. Who knows? And, oh man, what are the other improvements of the day? I guess there's the forklift improvements. I don't know if I went through them all, waiting on one final piece. But we spent a good couple days on the forklift, rewiring the strobe at the back, ran a piece of tab tire up. They run the power wire down through the drain for the roof. And so ran a piece of cab tire. So now there's an extra wire that's up there. So if there's ever a backup light or something that needs to get added, there's a spare piece of wire and also wired up the signal light wire from the column down to the fuse box is broken, so rewired that, so it's got working signals. Because I figured when we're at it, oh yeah, working horn. I think I went over that in a previous video. And, oh man. Backup alarm, oh yeah, the backup alarm, the actual unit, had was only working intermittently so not every time it was put in reverse i wasn't sure if it was the the switch in the in the column or what it was so got that sorted out oh and also rewired it's got this low pressure whoa for the propane over in here so ran a new power wire down in here whether you can see that oh and put a uh before it was just a bare wire, which it is actually just a switch that gives continuity to ground. So it wasn't like it was a hot wire, but the wire was starting to wear on stuff on the chassis the way they had wired it in. So I put some wire loom around it, off some old scrap cars the neighbor had. Thanks, Walter. And yeah, got that cleaned up. So now just waiting for a new throttle position sensor to get this thing tuned up and then 
who knows there's a few other things i'd like to clean up on it but oh yeah put a new muffler so actually i borrowed a socket there's two I'm trying to think they're inch and it's a weird size somewhere around inch and five eighths you need an inch and five eighths socket to take out the two bolts to hold the counterweight on because this counterweight weighs a ton a literal one ton so got it all figured out how to get that counterweight off the bolts are loose so i'm going to wait till a few other things are done and i get some material maybe make up a new stainless steel muffler who knows maybe price one out and see anyhow to be determined so on that note Hopefully that gives you some enthusiasm for your shop improvements. Please comment below what kind of stuff you're working on. Be cool to see in the comments. And please like, please subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications on more really mind-blowing shop improvements. Till next time, keep having fun.